hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video let's talk about uh, standard values tokens so what are tokens tokens are mainly um, set at the standard set at the template standard values what is the use of them uh, whenever we create any items based on the uh, template which contains the tokens so sidecore expands these tokens and resolves them with the uh, proper values only at the time of item creation so later it will not affect anything let's see a couple of examples and uh, these are the whatever you are seeing like seven of them are uh, built-in tokens which are already provided by sidecore and we can if at all it is required i mean we can easily extend and uh, we can add our own tokens as well so on a higher level you might have seen already previous videos whenever we are building a components we when we create a template most frequently used is a name so which replaces the name i mean whichever the field is using this name token will be replaced when item is created with the name of the item and id is the id of the item parent id just that in the tree the current item is under which parent so and parent id parent name date has three of them like one is only pure date and another one is time and uh, another one is now I mean, most of the times uh, we use the name and uh, time i mean now which sets that uh, current date i mean if you create any articles or any other items maybe you want to set uh, initial value to current date at the time of item creation so for that cases we use it let's quickly build a template using these tokens then we can see the examples so let me go to already logged in 10.1 and uh, just go to project as this is this is just a sample one let's not restructure anything so it would be i will put token example okay just token section we'll just create one field for each so name and uh, id you can have parent id and parent name date time and now so this is how it uh, i mean these are the fields let's just go and create for standard values because the tokens are set at the standard values and this is what it is and uh, the initial values so now let's set so name you already know name id parent id parent name let's leave one of them i just want to show you uh, one one use case as well so i mean one just parent name let's keep parent name just remove the parent id parent name date sorry i just need to put this as a uh, date fields i just put everything is single in text so it's a date and i'll put date time and again date time save let's go back to standard values name id so parent id and all is done and date time now save it so this is done let's create now one item based on this template so let's go to home under home build it 
insert from template I mean this is just a dummy uh, we are not going to uh, show any component or do any backend coding just to show you how the tokens are going to be resolved so go to builders and uh, select the to token example so I'll just put token 1 so let's see how it all resolved collapse yeah so name we had given the name right item name which is token 1 ID is uh, this present ID so if you see this 0 C E ends with F15 yeah, F15 parent ID we purposefully left bank if you have not put if you had put parent ID then you would get a home item ID and the parent name is home date is uh, 530 yeah and uh, time it's only considering a time so this time is considering it and um, um, present time at this time of recording now this is the time IST um, if you have set the server time it will take that server time if not then it will be um, it will be uh, that operating system time and that local so this is uh, item right now let's go and uh, so this all resolved now second piece is if you change anything remember these uh, tokens are only re I mean resolved at the time of item creation later whatever you do it does not affect these tokens so if you just rename this notice that it will not replay it will not change it because item already created that that at that point of time what is the item name it already took so it does not matter for it and if you move this under uh, under about us let's see so notice uh, parent name is still home but current parent is not that so you have to remember that only at the time of item creation now i'll just show you why i have not created parent id let's go that and just add now parent id as well standard values and uh, parent id save so now let's go and do one more example token 2 insert so now you got all of them token 2 id parent id parent name everything now if you go to token 1 what will happen notice here it is telling parent id and uh, dollar parent id so because we have set at the standard value and this value was empty the time so it, it just took the whatever we have value we have set at the standard value and Sideco doesn't run that uh, resolving these tokens every time when there is change at the standard values so only at the time of item creation so you have to remember that when you are creating or uh, when you are adding this token to an existing field and also there are already a lot of items created based on the template so you you have to run some scripts to resolve this properly later maybe use a powershell or maybe just a c sharp script to resolve it so this is some of the examples now okay these are all fine okay what if i want to create some custom token which are which i don't have i mean which uh, the current built-in tokens doesn't support my requirement so luckily this is a simple process not too complex so if you go to yeah i had created like some small um, one uh, token previously i'm just using that example we're not going to deploy or anything just to, just to see how it is how easy it is to implement so you just extend this pipeline uh, expand initial field value and expand initial field value processor and override that processor so token is uh, dollar server date and here it is checking whether that uh, token is matching to the arg result arguments 
then it is taking current server date from UTC and UTC date and then saving it. I mean this uh, don't bother it now. Main point is by the time you select arg dot result whatever the server date token it gets replaced with some value whichever we want and you this is the only piece of code and just uh, to patch that configuration we just use it uh, one small configuration file so patch after so server date token will come after in expand initial field values so other tokens are resolved then it will come to this token so that's a kind of order of it you only you we we just require these two files only so these two uh, code code is deployed and uh, just a configuration to make it run so whenever we have any server date tokens it gets replaced so this is some simple use case like this you will have a number of uh, cases to implement so in overall tokens help help us a lot uh, because it just gives a pre-filled pre values for uh, content others with a different different uh, based on the context of when the item created so uh, used a lot so and uh, check your requirements carefully wherever you can use the tokens uh, so it will reduce the work of content others so that's all for this video thank you for watching see you next time